Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Study Hacks, Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss about a very important topic how we can easily create the NDVI suitable normalized difference vegetation index range and identify the land cover classes. Okay, so here you can see I already create this type of work in here. So here I just classify the NDVI and then try to find out the suitable range and then make the land cover classes. So mainly here I classified the water body, build up area, then dense vegetation, then sparse vegetation, then barren land. Okay. So today I will try to discuss about the full process, all of those things, how we can easily create the NDVI map and then how we can easily use the suitable normalized difference vegetation index range and identify the land cover classes. Okay. So let's go. We can try to discuss about that. So first of all, I simply remove my previous work. So here you can see this is my study area. So I want to simply show this display this area. So this is my study area. Here I already imported this district boundary uh, of Dhaka city boundary shape file in here. So in this time I just simply import my satellite images. So I can simply uh, go to my source file. So here I already downloaded this Sentinel-2 satellite imagery and if you don't know how to download this sentinel 2 satellite imagery with 10 meter resolution you can simply check the my video i also give this youtube link in the video description you can easily find out that and also try to show that and then download this sentinel 2 satellite imagery then you can easily get that i will give the video link in the description so in this time here you can see here i can get all of the 10 meter resolution band in here so in this time i want to calculate the ndvi then also make the ndvi suitable range and then try to find out the land cover classes okay so let's go so in this time when you want to calculate the ndvi so mainly we need to the two band so mainly we need to the band uh, four basically this is the red band and we also need to the another band is that band 8 so basically this is the near infrared band so i simply imported my requirement band in here <coughs> so now i just try to max okay so in this time you can see it will be showing the whole tiles but i don't need for the whole tiles i don't i need only for this area for this band okay so for that i simply click on the catalog button and go to the special analytics tool from the system toolbox go to the special analyst tool and also you can see extraction okay click to the extraction then you can find out the extract by max i simply click on here now i simply import the raster first of all i want to try to work with the band 4 and then uh, put here this your study area okay this is my study area is the dhaka so simply put the dhaka and click on here and now i simply put the name suppose i put this name such as band 4 okay and then save it and then okay so now it is struck by marks only for my region of interest and i can get the result only for my area okay now we can do for the same tracks also for the band 8 so for that again go to the catalog from the system analytics analyst tool go to the extraction is struck by max okay then simply import the band 8 mainly it's a near infrared band and also select that your region of interest then save the file i put the name such as band 8 okay then okay and also save it okay Okay, so now you can see it's showing this track by max. Okay, we can get the result. So in this time, it's this file is not need. I simply remove that from here. So simply remove that. Okay, so now you can see I can get the 
satellite image uh, mainly band 8 and band 4 for the region of interest of the Hagra city okay so now i want to calculate it the ndvi so for that simply click on here and then go to this map algebra you can see in the special analyst tool we can get the another tool map algebra simply click on here and you can see the star calculator okay simply select that double click and now you want to show the result so basically first of all we need to select here the float because we can get the result in the float number so simply click on the float and then mainly our equation is that near infrared band minus red band so simply select the near infrared band minus red band <coughs> divided by and again talk the take the fault and then simply put here the near infrared plus red band okay and output raster you can simply save the names as as ndvi okay and then save it okay so i simply change the name suppose ndvi sometimes it will not work i simply change the name again okay so now i take the name you can see hesitation mainly the ndvi and then simply click the ok so now it calculating the ndvi for my region and calculate the result you can get you can see it will be low showing from the negative one and up to the point seven okay so in this time i simply click in here and go to the properties and give the name such as from the general i simply change the name suppose i put the name as ndvi and then apply and okay and now from this ndvi you can uh simply if you want you can also show the result simply click on here and go to the properties from the properties go to the symbology and here you can see we can use here the different types of color plated for showing the ndvi result suppose i want to display the result look like this uh, and then apply and okay so now you can say i can get the ndvi map from here so this is the one kind of ndvi map mainly ndvi is the normalized difference vegetation index so mainly it's identify the vegetation region okay so we can get the ndvi result look like this and now i want to make the suitable normalized difference vegetation or ndvi range and identify the land cover classes such as water body as well as also build up area then also classified the dense vegetation sparse vegetation barren land using the suitable normalized difference vegetation index range okay so it's very easy so basically now it's showing only for the ndvi map okay from this ndvi map i want to just classify the land cover classes okay so for that i can simply go to this properties again and from here go to the classified okay so simply yes okay so now i can say i can get the total all of the classes range in here okay so now uh, you can use here the different types of colors such as this kind to use and apply and okay so now i can get the result look like this okay but this result is not more convenient okay so in this time i want to apply the more convenient result so that we can easily identify the water body build up area vegetation as far as vegetation then barren land okay so for that i simply click on here again and go to the properties and in this time i want to follow this uh you can see follow this range okay so i want to use this suitable and normalized difference vegetation index range and classify the water build up area barren land shrubland sparse vegetation dense vegetation okay so let's go we can easily do that so in this time i want to apply this all of those uh range and then try to find out the all of those classes so for that simply click on here and so basically in this time we can get here the total six number of class so simply i select the six and i want to set the range according to my choice according to this range you can see from 0 point of my negative all of those value from 0 0.015 i consider this is the water then 0 0.015 from 0 0.014 i consider as a build up area for this reason i consider the barren land for this i consider the sub and grassland and 0 0.27 to 0 0.36 i consider the waste vegetation and 0 0.36 from 0 0.74 i as for the dense vegetation so according to this class i want to classify it so click on the classify and i simply change here this bracket break values okay first of all i simply put here the break value is that 0 
one five and then put here the second is that uh, i put here these values as 0 0.14 okay then put here that 0 0.18 also then put here that 0 0.27 0 0.27 okay and then put here that um, 0 0.36 Again, okay, it's uh, there is no change in here. All of those are dense, dense vegetation. After that, all of those things we can consider as a dense vegetation. Okay. So for that, I simply click on OK. So now we can get the result look like this. You can see. So now I want to just display the result. Suppose this is the water body. I want to show the water body as the blue color. So for that, I simply click on here. Uh, okay. So this type of blue color I simply put here. Then below area I want to display the below area as a uh, red color. Then barren land, I want to show the barren land as that, uh, suppose this type of color. Uh, okay, so after that, so I want to use the barren land as a suppose uh, this yellow color, okay. And then sparse and grassland, sparse and grassland to display the result. <laughs> this is the light green. Scrub and uh, vegetation, okay. Then sparse vegetation, I want to show the sparse vegetation such as uh this type of color and dense vegetation to show the this is the dense vegetation okay so okay so i'll change it suppose this is the dense visit uh, sparse vegetation this is a dense i also put the name at the level suppose this range i want to display the result for suppose this is the water water and then i also consider it as a build up build up and then also put consider as a i simply barren land Then also put ahead this uh, another class is that strap strap and cross land and then also put ahead this another class such as put ahead this sparse vegetation. And finally, this is the dense vegetation. Okay, so this is the dense vegetation. Simply put this level such as dense vegetation. Dense vegetation. Dense vegetation. Okay. Okay. Then I apply and uh, okay. Okay. So now I can see it created this classified map. Look like this. So we have classified all of those classes using this NDVI suitable range. We classified this field of area, water body, barren land, shrub, sparse vegetation, dense vegetation, all of the things classified using the difference on the normalized difference in vegetation index uh, suitable range. Okay. So using this process, you can easily calculate the NDVI as well as you can also classify it the normalized difference with uh, vegetation index from the land use land cover classes using the range okay so in this time i hope you can easily get this idea and if you have any question or any doubt you can just contact with me then you can easily got this solution and also use this if you want you can also create the map layout such so look like this suppose i simply create this map layout and then you can easily add here this uh, list and title or other things in here so for that you can simply add that so simply click on here that uh, is that insert and go to this legend so i next click on here next then next okay so now we create this all of this legend so this is our legend 
be created in this time i simply convert to graphics and then ungroup that and then simply remove this suppose it's not need and then increase this okay as well as you can also add, add the title name so click on the insert and go to the title so put this lulc app so you can put this name look like this and you can also add, add the Suppose um, add here this uh, not line. So simply select that and OK. And put this not line look like this. And also put here the skull. So simply click on here the insert and go to this skull word. Simply select this skull word. And you can also represent it uh, uh, as a grid line. So simply click on the layers and go to the properties and go to the new grid and then click to the next 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 and finish go to the properties again and from that vertical lower left and right increase the suppose 12 and then lines don't show lines axis inside also put the inside okay then simply put the apply and okay apply and okay okay in this time it also add the all of those grid in here so in using this process you can easily add also get a grid okay so if you want you can also change the some properties from here so click on the properties axis i simply put here that so major division i want to show only for the uh left i so from only for the uh bottom right and left and also put here this I simply remove that from here only for the left and top and bottom. Okay, then apply and okay, apply and okay. So now we can easily create this type of map, and finally, you can easily save it as a PNG file format from here. So, as for that, simply click on here and go to this export map. Before that, if you want, you can also add the base map. You can see the add a base map, click on here. And then you can see topographic map or other types of map you can easily add then it also added as a base map so basically when you want to classify the ndvi using their suitable range and calculate it or identify the land cover classes just follow this same process i hope you can easily do that and face any problem for any time So if you have any question or any doubt, you can just contact with me and I hope you can easily get this solution from me. And uh, if you want to join my live training program for learning the all of the things from beginners to advanced level on GIS, remote sensing, ArcMap, QGIS, Python for GIS special or Google Earth Engine. So all of the things you can easily uh, learn from me. So for that, you have to just contact with me just uh, using this WhatsApp number as well as you have to con contact with me this email okay so okay so today is no more hope you are well all time and stay safe stay happy and just keep in touch with the study hacks have a good day